Hey everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fister Art Photography and today um, my little project is going to be uh, upgrading my somewhat old Mac Pro. So I have a 2012 Mac Pro which is one of the cheese grater ones as I think believe the phrase was at the time. So I want to try and get a bit more life out of it. Um, at the moment I don't really want to upgrade, um, mainly because I can't afford it. <laughs> so I just want to try and extend the life of it a bit. So at the moment it has 20 gigabytes of RAM in it and um, I want to upgrade that um, so I have a 16 gigabyte kit which I'm going to put into it and I also got a USB 3 card which I'm going to put into it so uh, let's see how we get on okay so here is the RAM kit it's a kit from Crucial um, which is kind of my favorite um, RAM supplier and it's a 16 gig kit and it's two 8 gig dims what I have in it at the moment is kind of mix and match of stuff so there's like um there's two fours and then a load of twos. So I'm going to take out the two, two of the twos and put in two eights. So this should bring me up to 32 gigabytes RAM. What a bit of look. And I also have, I also have this uh, USB 3 card, which seems to be the one that most people recommend. So we're going to put that in as well and see how we get on. Okay, so here is my Mac Pro. Um, I have loads of stuff hanging off it. So that's a Lacey Raid. Um, USB cables coming out the top. <laughs> you name it, this has got it. So one of the great things about this, um, the old generation of Mac Pros, is it was actually ridiculously easy to upgrade. Unfortunately, they don't really do them like that anymore. Um, however, hopefully the next generation, which has been promised, will. So, fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm going to open it now. Okay, so it's... A it's actually pretty filthy inside, <laughs> as you would expect. Uh, it is about six years old, so... Okay, so... The uh, memory and everything is on a daughter card, or a daughter board. So this whole thing just slides out. And that's where you have to keep make sure to grind yourself. Uh, as you can see, they are pretty dusty. Um, I don't have the greatest amount of light here either, so apologies. Okay, so what we need to do is take out the two gigs. So, first of all, we need to find them. So, that's the two gig there, and I should be the same on the opposite side. Yep. So, I'm going to try and blow some of this away. First thing first, I'm going to take out the old RAM. And again, I keep grinding myself off the main computer. Now some people like to use a wrist strap, but it's really not necessary. The RAM of this computer has to be put in in pairs, so I have to make sure to take out the right ones. Grinding myself and always kind of make sure to hold the round dims by the edge. It's actually really straightforward, it's not that we can do. And then we just shove them in and they click into place. So there it is, one. And I'll just put the old one back in this. So there's one done in grinding. See, there's our new dims in, in place, and I'll just give this a bit more of a clean. Now we will put this back in, and one more grinding. And that's it, that's our RAM installed. So, the next thing I want to do is install the USB card. So this thing comes out. Um, I actually don't like Apple's mechanism for this. So this is our USB 3 card. It's actually tiny. We should grind ourselves. And this is where it does get really hard. Because there's not a lot of room here.
I think that's in. <laughs> I hope that's in. Yeah, it's just a case of putting the screw thing back in, which is actually surprisingly difficult to get in. Okay, so it's in. Powering on. Here goes nothing. Okay, so fingers crossed this works. We got the chimes, so that's a good sound. So far, so good. It's booting, that's the main point. Hey. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> My drives are all still connected, so that's also a good sign. Here we have the magic number. We have 32 gigabytes of RAM installed. Woohoo! Okay, I guess that worked. <laughs> okay, so the next, I just need to do some testing to make sure everything's okay. So that all so worked fine, thank God. Um, I need to do a bit of testing. The last time I had a USB 3 card, this is actually my third USB 3 card, um, it slowed the whole computer down, there was something wrong with it. Um, but this is the one that people recommend, so hopefully this should work fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you found this pointless little video useful. <laughs> so if you ever wanted to see what was inside an old Mac Pro, there you go, now you have, and that's how you upgrade the RAM. Okay, thanks for watching, see you next time.